He's just lost his loyalty card there, I suspect. <laughs> there he goes. He was a passenger from very early on, actually before the apex of the corner. So this turn away. two. They've got a long sweeping right-hander of three, which must be pretty difficult in these conditions, to say the least. He's jockeying that around the outside. Uh, OK, so he hit the... He was coming out of three, and he skidded all the way. Skidded all... Oh, Ooh. and so nearly contact. There was a Toro Rosso, if I remember, was it? Uh, well, we can see it from off-board here. A little, little hop. I think it was Gutierrez that, that comes in. It, it looked a little bit like the Sauber. Yeah. Yes, it was Gutierrez. It's just a total passenger there. But, Marcy, knowing what was going to happen, when we rode on board, you were quite fearful for Ericsson as he was coming out of turn two. Because about actually steering at the corner. This is up through Dunlop, tailwind. Oh, he's just run out of road. And that's and you're never going to end. never going to end well. And that's where... ...to Vettel's hands nicely, if he can get in the pits, if they think they're going to be tyre limited. Dropped it on the way in. It's a big moment for the Swede, though, Martin. I mean, some of the speed will have got scrubbed off, but that's still a fairly heavy impact, isn't it? He turned in from the white line, maybe a little bit uh, of extra curve, but that's what happens when you're a racer. I'm glad to say, driver uh, gets out unharmed. Here we go, then. So, into uh, scene, like we said, that's an easy flat corner. Now, what's going to happen is he turns in. Oh, he loses the rear quick. That's taken a big knock to the side of his head there, and that's there. Generally, the worst—that's the worst condition when you when you hit the side of your head, um, you've got minimal amount of uh, head protection, and might explain why he took so long to get out of the car as well. He's he's going to be feeling a bit go. This what? is the passenger bit. Clipped a little bit of curb, and definitely couldn't do much about it. Yeah, but it just gets up. When it react to what the track's going to do now, and by the time here's the replay of the Ericsson crash. Yeah. Oh, oh dear, Martin. Just as well that car's got a scaffolding pole-like front, hasn't it, David? That's the bit that takes the impact. So this is turn nine. On the run down the hill towards Pouan, looks normal to me at the moment. Tires look in good condition. Turns in, tries to carry the speed, runs out wide onto the curb, and yeah, bit of a tank slapper. And oh, that's. Bit of a hefty whack there, hands come off the wheel, so protect yourself, but uh, that, that, uh, he'll be okay now on the entry. Here we go. There we go. Yep, yeah. yeah, there's the AstroTurf, that lighter green stuff, round she goes. Not much, and then, then is he a passenger at this point? Oh, definitely yeah, a passenger yeah. at that point. As soon as the car snaps around on the exit on the AstroTurf, you're a passenger. That's actually one of the best ways to go in, is nose first. You know, yeah. the, you can see the, the, the structure of the nose has done its job. Bits fall off the car, it looks dramatic, um, but it's it's to dissipate that energy. That's the main thing. So yeah, here we go. Just it just got onto that AstroTurf on the left rear. Steering wheel came off. That's the that's you know what? Bad. That's the second crash I've seen this year where the steering wheels come off the car. That's not good. Julian is it? Palmer in Monaco. Yeah. And now this. And a bit shaking. I'm not surprised, Martin Brundle, that Marcus Ericsson very tentatively got out of the car. Yeah, and he's lucky that it went left rather than right, because to the right is just a concrete wall. To the left, uh, I don't know where he, whether he went in, in the, initially into the Armco barrier, then it turns into a, a concrete wall. But as so often happens, you know, like uh, Alonso shunt in Melbourne, my shunt in Melbourne, when you have spectacular ones like that, the energy is dissipated over a long distance with, the, with all the bits and pieces flying off as well. It's, it's not the sudden stop. That's the, well, they're the ones that really hurt, so breaking from the right-hand side, we're, and they're quite important. I've just done the hot laps seeing... down there. Sorry, Martin. Uh, we're just uh, yeah. Another replay is just being shown at the moment from on board Marcus Ericsson's carpool, where, where you can really feel that he just was a complete passenger there and see the marshals scurrying uh, for, for cover as the car came hurtling towards them. Uh, there was one marshal that actually looked to be in front of uh, the barrier. There's a, there's a catch fencing there to protect some marshal, but one marshal is actually in front of the barrier down there, which is not a place you want to see uh, a marshal standing.